There's a mechanical servo operated seven segment digital clock that I found on Instructables. I started to build it. The only thing I didn't like about the original layout was most of it was put together with a glue gun. So I designed a few parts for that. The original concept was to make these segments and you could lay this down on a piece of cardboard or whatever and then spray paint it a black color and whatever color you printed would be what was showing. I changed that a little bit. This segment is still there. I made this piece that will go onto a servo and it fits right onto an SG90 servo and that goes in here and you can glue that on there. All you have to do is just make sure that it's square and by design this squares itself quite nicely. I changed the design a little bit and you can print whatever color insert you want. There's a matching pocket on the insert. Put that together, squeeze it together real good and you have three holes here to put glue in. Make sure that's good and solid and take one of these servo horns, put it in there, make sure it's all the way in and square. You can put glue on that and you're done. These two servos look alike, but they're not. They are both sold as SG90 servos. I bought this one several years ago when I was putting the conductor in my Senior 20 organ and it has four screws on the bottom. Now they only put two screws in the bottom and this section right in here is a bit taller. Now I designed a mounting base for this servo and it was designed for the old SG90. You could put double-sided tape or glue that to whatever the back of your clock was going to be. And I made another version of that and it's got some mounting holes and a guide for the servo wire. Then I received my new order of servos. And this servo would not fit. The pocket was too short. Servos are designed to mount on these lugs and that will hold that servo square. They're not designed to be sitting on one edge and why I say that is because this is somewhat tapered and it's made tapered for the injection molds. When I designed this I made this surface three tenths of a millimeter higher than this. When the servo is in there and it snaps down tight when it's all the way down, that makes the center line of the output shaft parallel with this surface. When you put the segment on here, and after the screw is in place, that makes this parallel with the mounting surface. And when this rotates down, this will be parallel with the mounting surface. The STL files will be on Thingiverse under my name. The link will be in the description for this video and you will find the two mounts that I designed for the older SG90 servos, the mount for the newer SG90 servos, the segment, the segment insert servo arm, and the plane segment. This one would probably require spray painting as shown in the construction article.